Sheriff Tim Helder says this is the first homicide behind bars that he's seen in his 40 years on the force. In fact, he added that Dakota Harvey told deputies Louis Cobo Sonobio asked to be killed. It's a capital murder case. Now he's got another capital murder. Could be here for quite some time. Take a look at the top left portion of your screen. You can see deputies escorting Dakota Harvey out of his jail cell with arms behind his back. This is after deputies say Harvey told them that Luis Cobosunobio asked him to kill him. This all happening a mere four hours after Harvey had requested to be transferred into Sunobio's cell. In an incident like this to where our suspect, Mr. Harvey, requests a transfer, there's a process by which they do that. And he bolstered it by saying, I'm in fear because I've received threats that they're going to do me bodily harm or kill me because of what I allegedly did, uh, the capital murder charge. The sheriff says Sonobia was killed by strangulation, but the state crime lab will further investigate the cause of death. The sheriff's office confirmed that Sonobio and Harvey had previously both lived in the R block from May 19th through July 5th with no issues. There were only 19 people in that block when it's a 32 bed block that uh, it's limited for a reason. With our overcrowding situation, we would certainly have people in there if they fit that criteria. These, these people were folks that uh, didn't get along with others. There were two other inmates in the cell at the time of Kobo Sonobio's death. Dakota Harvey is now being held in an isolation cell. Washington County Prosecutor Matt Durrett says no charges have been filed at this time for Harvey. However, he is expected to appear in court on September 9th for his original capital murder charge. Reporting live in Fayetteville, I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.